Welcome to Lifting You. Now, I'm so excited that you decided to take this course because it tells us that you wanted to make sure that you are the most confident, informed purchaser of an overhead crane around. And that's awesome because buying the wrong overhead crane can be a mistake that can take you years to recover from. So what we did is we put seven lessons together that cover the basics of owning an overhead crane, the features and technologies that exist in overhead crane systems, the process of buying a crane from your first consultation all the way through to installation, and then what to know about your overhead crane once you actually own the system, how to maintain it, and any hidden costs that may be associated with it. At the end of each lesson, you'll see a section titled Crane Configurator, where you can start designing your very own crane system. Each configurator section corresponds to the lesson you've just completed. It's a great way to apply what you've just learned and to start thinking about the design and components of your new overhead crane system. After you've completed Cranes 101, you'll be able to review the design, specifications, and components of your new system based on the answers you've submitted during each lesson's crane configurator. Double check the form to make sure you didn't miss anything and then click the Send Me My Crane System Specifications button to get your personalized overhead crane system design delivered straight to your inbox. Lesson one, what is an overhead crane? In this lesson, we're gonna talk about the basic definition of an overhead crane, what you use it for, the different types of overhead crane systems that exist, and the CMAA service classifications so that you can help determine the right duty cycle for your overhead crane system. Lesson two, overhead crane structure and design. We'll compare top running versus under running overhead cranes, single girder versus double girder bridge design, and how to determine span and runway length so that you can fit the crane system into an existing or a new building design. Lesson three is overhead crane components. We'll take a look at electrification systems and give a comparison between conductor bars, festooning, and cable reels. We'll take a look at control systems, including push button controls and remote radio control systems. And we'll take a look at hoists, comparing chain hoists versus wire rope hoists. And also take a deeper dive into what a pneumatic hoist system is compared to a manual hoist system versus an electric hoist system. Lesson four, safety systems, features, and technologies. In this lesson, we'll take a look at what a below the hook lifting device is and why you may need to use it for custom lifting applications. We'll take a look at variable frequency drives and how you can fine tune the controls for both your bridge and your hoist and modern safety systems and technologies, including overload sensors, remote monitoring and diagnostics, and anti-collision technologies. Lesson five, buying a new overhead crane. In this section, we'll talk about the entire process of buying an overhead crane and what you can expect from the consultation all the way to the installation. We'll also take a look at the cost of an overhead crane system and what factors might contribute to that cost, how to compare overhead crane quotes from different vendors, and also, should you finance or should you just buy your overhead crane system outright? Lesson six, overhead crane installation. We'll talk about the entire process from installation to completion, and also some factors you should consider if you're installing an overhead crane in an existing building structure. Lesson seven, overhead crane ownership. In this section, we'll talk about the five common problems with overhead cranes and how you can avoid them, the hidden costs of owning an overhead crane system, and also how you can keep your crane system in compliance with OSHA standards. So each lesson that we've put together has roughly 30 to 60 minutes of both written and video content. So depending on your learning style, you're more than welcome to choose whatever course is best for you. And at the end of each lesson, we have resources available. Now these will come in the form of either podcasts, additional videos or written content, or checklists or guides to help you on your way to buying your first overhead crane. But I don't want you to feel like you're on your own here. If you have any questions, if you're struggling, Mike and I are here for you the entire time. We have access to our engineers and our specialists and we can ask them questions and get back to you as soon as possible. Now I know you might be looking at all these lessons and how much time it's gonna to take to get through it and you might be thinking that you just don't have the time. Well think about how much more time it would take you to fix the problem of buying the wrong overhead crane than it did if you were to do the research now and buy the correct one. So make a commitment to yourself now that you're going to go through this course, that you're going to take it seriously, and make sure that you are a more informed purchaser. Good luck.